What do we have, John? Well, welcome back. Just before the break, we were down in Florida, and we were dealing with a leaky window frame, and now we're up here in the Adirondacks at Burke's Marina on Racket Lake, and a friend of mine owns this marina, Mike Burke. And this boat right here, I want to real quick introduce it to you. It's leaking, okay? This is a classic 1973 Starcraft. It's a 16-footer with a Johnson 40 horsepower engine on it. And it's a young lady that owns the boat, very good friend of Mike's. And he asked me if we could possibly come up here and fix it for her to make it watertight. And that leads us to our next expert guest. This is Ben Goujon from Goujon Brothers. And hello, my friend. Hi, John. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ben's been on the program before. And he's a true expert with working with epoxy. And as I was doing my research, when I was trying to learn how to seal up these rivets, how to seal up aluminum boats, okay, a big product kept coming up over and over again, G-Flex. Show me West Systems G-Flex epoxy. Sure, John. G-Flex is a new product that we had released. It's a higher elongation epoxy. It means it's going to be far more flexible than any other epoxy on the market. However, it's much stiffer than any uh, adhesive sealant that is currently on the market. Okay, now this does not uh, just work on aluminum. This works on a lot of different areas, doesn't right, it? Right, right. It's designed to bond to any plastics, wood, aluminum, ceramics. Uh, difficult to bond to materials. It'll bond to damp woods. It'll cure underwater. All right. And it's going to hold up with the flex of an aluminum bolt. It will. It will. The G-Flex is flexible enough to absorb any shock or vibration from the aluminum bolt. And that'll keep it from leaking. Okay, let's bring everybody up to speed. There's a lot of work that has taken place on this hull bottom, okay? Where we began was with the boat in the water. We wanted to have these rivets leak, okay? We wanted to have some water in the boat. And basically, we pulled it out at the boat ramp here at Birch Marina. And you went underneath the boat with some paper towels and a Sharpie and how many of these rivets did you identify as what's called a working rivet or a leaking rivet? Well, when I got under the boat, John, I saw that most of the rivets were leaking as long as the keel seam was also leaking. So we're going to, patch, we're going to fix all the rivets today on the boat to make sure that we get them on return this old boat into its original condition. You instructed the staff to go get some wire wheels, to get some wire brushes, and to hit every rivet, make sure that we removed all of the paint. Why are we doing this? Sure, we need to remove any paint or debris that's left on the boat to give a good clean surface for the G-Flex to adhere to. Okay, and then you told Bert, go grab some solvent, and I want you to really wipe this down with solvent. What's the solvent for? Mm -hmm. The solvent's to remove any, any contamination that's left on the aluminum. Okay, now you were just telling me, John, the next step is to get a propane torch, and you need to heat, treat all of these rivet heads in order to get out any remaining water or any remaining solvent, mm -hmm. okay? But why don't you want to keep that flame on this aluminum for an extended period of time? Well, you want to make sure the aluminum doesn't get too hot. You just want it to be warm enough to lower the, to push out any water and also lower the viscosity of the G-Flex so it can get down inside of the rivet. Okay, now this is a one-to-one -one product, okay? One part to one part. We're going to put it into a syringe. That's how we're going to apply it to the rivet. How much material do we need to apply around each rivet head? We just need enough material to seal all the edges of the rivet, Jen. Okay, what about this keel plate right here? We're gonna run a bead of G-Flex underneath this keel plate here, wherever there's any voids. All right, now why do we wanna use a heat gun over top of this yet cured G-Flex? The heat is going to lower the viscosity of the G-Flex, is going to allow it to get down inside the rivet. All right. How long does it take for this epoxy to cure to where we could get the boat re-rigged and back in the water? Well, it depends on how long you apply the heat to it, but if you fully cure the G-Flex with the heat, you can do it within an hour, um, or if you let it to cure at ambient temperatures, 10 to 12 hours. Will this work on boats that are aluminum with electrolysis problems where you have those tiny little pinholes in the aluminum? Can you fix a pinholed aluminum boat with G-Flex. You can, John. We'll just follow the same procedures we did here today and it'll patch it right up. Fantastic. Ben, thank you so much for all the information. If somebody wanted to maybe learn more about your product line, more about G-Flex, do you have a portal for people to go to? We do. It's www.westsystem.com. Fantastic, my friend. Hey,